Well, 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 look who it is. That was pretty cool, right? You're probably wondering Tim, how I did. Didn't Code Bullet make the exact same video with the exact same idea? Kinda. See, in Code Bullet's video, he didn't actually use the original Piano Tiles 2 from the App Store. He used some web knockoff. Like, what are you doing, bro? Okay, okay, I'm joking. I actually met Code Bullet at Open Sauce. He's a super cool guy. Uh, he even signed my Among Us plushie. But I am gonna steal the video idea, though. Thanks for the views. Some of you may be wondering, what is Piano Tiles? Well... So the question is, how do we automate it? My initial idea was to look at the game and see if there are any black pixels, and if there are, then we click them. However, this comes with a speed issue. Checking the color of a pixel is actually really slow. Since the game gets really fast, we need to be able to check the screen and click as fast as possible. So instead, what I decided to do was only check one pixel on each column. Using this method, we can check for a tile every roughly 0.03 seconds, or every other frame. This is super quick, so we shouldn't have an issue with speed here on out. Alright, it's looking pretty good at... Wait. What's that? That is a hold tile. Hold tiles are unique. By pressing and holding the tile, you actually get more points than you would by just pressing it. Since we're aiming for a high score, holding the hold tiles is actually way better than just clicking them. This is actually a pretty easy adjustment. All we have to do is when we click a tile, we just keep holding the mouse down. Then, when we move to a different tile, we release the mouse and then continue holding. Alright, let's see how the bot does. So that was garbage. The bot can fail for a number of reasons, but the biggest one is that the mouse, when it moves over to click the tile, actually gets there too late and misses. As the speed of the game increases, this gets more and more likely. In order to avoid this issue, I've added an offset to where we click, so after a certain amount of time, the mouse will start clicking a little bit lower every time. It's important to set this offset correctly, because if we set it too high, then the mouse will constantly miss tiles and click below them. But if we set this offset too low, then it'll run into the same issue as before. Okay, with those few tweaks, let's go crush some records. Okay. Alright, I think that's the world record. Let's see how far it goes, but I think the world record was under 4,000. Let's go! What has to use the second pixel now? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, and we lost it. Whew. Well. Well. Well, 3,884 with uh, three revives. Let's, uh, let's watch this here. Simply bad at the game. Imagine not getting 4,600, bro. Skill issue.